Your body was designed for 40 years. That's not a metaphor, it's evolutionary fact. For most of human history, if you made it to adulthood, you could expect to live maybe 30 or 40 years. That's what our bodies were built for. Our bones, our hearts, even our DNA, all optimized for a life that ended long before retirement age. So why are so many of us living twice as long today? The answer isn't that we've evolved superhuman bodies overnight. It's that in the last two centuries, we've completely changed the rules. Clean water, vaccines, antibiotics, and better nutrition have doubled, sometimes tripled, our life expectancy in high-income countries. We've pushed back the threats that used to kill us young. But here's the catch. Our biology hasn't caught up. Evolution works on a slow clock. The genes that shape our bodies were selected for survival and reproduction, not for thriving at 80 or 90. After we've had kids, natural selection stops caring so much. Harmful mutations that only show up late in life, they stick around because they don't affect our ability to pass on our genes. Some genes even help us early on, but hurt us later. A trade-off nature is happy to make if it means more babies. There's also the disposable soma theory. Our bodies are programmed to invest energy in reproduction, not endless self-repair. That's why as we age, things start to break down. Cells accumulate damage, organs wear out, and chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease become common. These problems usually show up after the age our ancestors would have already died. So what happens when you take a body designed for 40 years and push it to 80 or beyond? You get a mismatch. We're living longer, but not necessarily healthier. Our health span, the years we spend in good health, hasn't kept up with our lifespan. Instead, many spend their extra decades battling illness. And while the dream of living to 120 grabs headlines, the reality is most of us won't make it to 100. Scientists say there are likely biological ceilings to human lifespan, and unless we find ways to actually slow aging itself, radical life extension is probably out of reach for now. So here's the real challenge. It's not just about living longer, but living better. If our bodies were designed for 40 years, how do we make the extra time count?